<laughs> ah, yeah, I love it. Oh, gut shot. Oh, my fault. Oh, that was just dumb. Good morning, fellow gaming nerds. Welcome to the Whiplash Hell channel. Uh, today we got us another episode of Jaws of Extinction. This is Staging Branch, and this is episode number eight, 18, I think. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. We're out here on the beach. Uh, we started a new game last episode, and we are fixing to go to Dom's Hardware. Um, Quest says to go to the Free Zone, which we will, but I kind of want to go to Dom's Hardware first. Oh, but before we do, I noticed something in our backpack. We have a military grade 1 backpack. That'll give us more weight. So I'm going to go ahead and equip it. 224 pounds now. That's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and scrap this. It'll give us some cloth, which we'll need. Hopefully we won't run into two, uh, any more bleeding issues. <laughs> Let's see how many bandages we got. Uh, we got plenty of cloth. We got 12 bandages. All right, that's cool. Um, Ryan gave me the tip to you start using these inventory filters, and I forget about them all the time. Right here is everything that's in my backpack, but you can also use these filters for like ammunition, food, aid, uh, what was that? Resources, equipment and miscellaneous so yeah use those filters maybe I'll try to get in the habit of it right now we're gonna go down here to Dom's hardware uh, let's see uh oh looks like the zombies or sounds like the zombies are already uh, setting off the alarm which is gonna attract more that's okay cuz we're gonna get their ass it's actually one o'clock in the afternoon so really don't have too much time before it starts getting dark. Uh, I used to go up that way. I don't really do it anymore because of uh, the dang crows. I never know where they're at. Crows kind of uh, let the zombies know where you're at. Uh, trying to figure out how I want to do this. I think I'm going to sneak around this corner. There are some zombies over there. There usually are. I want to sneak around here and see where they're at. The dang crows are never in the same damn place. Okay, let's do a grenade or a Molotov. Maybe. I don't know. Tristan here doesn't have any sneak value, so... They notice me pretty quick. <laughs> ah, yeah, I love it. Hopefully we won't get our asses handed to us. Let's, let's peek up over this way. <laughs> you can see the raindrops hitting the uh, tops of the weeds. Uh-oh. Looks like these guys are attracted to the fire. Should we throw another one? or should we? I think we're just going to use the gun. Uh, maybe if I equip it. <laughs> the fire took care of them. Hell yeah. I think they're still alive. Some of them. I hear some somewhere. Sometimes you, you see them move like... Ah, there's one. <laughs> Alright, I gotta start learning to aim for that chest. Alright, beer, I just emptied out my backpack and here I am, look at this. Can't help it man, you get some good whippetry out of these guys. See that one Molotov man, that did a good job. Killed like what, four zombies? Uh oh, so it looks like we got some... All right there I actually got him <laughs> that was awesome there's probably be a few more come up from there as you can see here um, 
Cotton pick a door's already open. Let's do this here real quick. I'm gonna drop these. I've been trying to just drop stuff that I most likely am not gonna use. I was even thinking about taking a trick out trip out to Lake Garnett. And maybe over to the survivor camp and getting the uh, big backpack. Alright, let's see here. Well, if we're definitely going to go out here, I usually go out oh, right here and just pick up all these nails. And you can turn this off. Just hit the F button. It doesn't tell you to, but that set, sets the alarm. Is it going to go off? Hit F again, maybe? I don't know why it keeps beeping. If it's red, all you gotta do is hit F. I don't know why it's doing that. All right, now it's set. Now it's off. Okay, got it. Let's scrap these dudes. Got lots of nails. We're still doing pretty good on weight. Although I'm not gonna be able to pick up any uh, too much timber. Let's see if we can't pick up two and be all right. 200 pounds. That's probably about all I can take. That's good enough. We still got 12 pounds available. I want to go ahead and pick up the saw, which is usually right here. And the axe, which is usually right here. Alright, rest of it, just we ain't going to even look at it. Now, I guess we'll go ahead and go up to the free zone. And since we don't have the car parts for um, the beast, uh, which is the four-wheeler, in case y'all don't know, uh, we're going to go ahead and go up to the free zone. Uh, we might actually be able to sell some stuff to get some parts. I can't even remember what we need. I think we needed er everything. We've got 12 volt battery. I don't know. Well, let's look at our filters. What was it under miscellaneous? So, is all the car parts fall under equipment? It also falls under miscellaneous. I tell you what, one thing I do want to do, if we can, there is a workbench right on the other side of this. And I wanted to make, let's go to crafting. I wanted to see about making a composite bow. Uh, we would need some plant fibers and duct tape. Duct tape is usually the problem I have finding. Let's go in here. Last time I found some in here. So we're going to, I'm going to turn the light on for you guys. Usually there's nothing in these, but doesn't hurt to look. I'm not going to take anything unless it's duct tape. Ooh, what's this? A lump hammer. I don't know what it is, but we'll take it anyway. Uh, most of the time, there's just resources in here. I said that last time when I was actually found duct tape. Not this time. Just resources. Let's go ahead and check these boxes. Hello. We might get lucky. You never know. I mean, this door's about ready to have a fit. Ah, there's three. Uh, take all. I think we need more than three, don't we? I think we need six. Oh, we need exactly three. So, all we need to do now is gather just a few more, few, a little bit more um, plant fibers, which I'm kind of praying that we'll be able to get from here. No, I think we need bushes. I think last time I had that problem. Let's run down this direction. Maybe right in here. 
No. Okay, maybe this little bush. Or these little bushes. There we go. See, we needed 70 more. It don't take long to gather them up. That should be plenty. Now let's go in here, craft this uh, bow. Select all. That selects everything in your inventory and the workbench too. And select this for weapons. Composite bow. 600. Looks like we got everything. Craft one. Hell yeah, now we just go to inventory and put it in our inventory. Maybe. Let's scroll down here. There we go. <laughs> now if we right click it, composite bow, we can get rid of this one. I think I'm just going to destroy it. Oh no, you can't. Well, we'll drop it out here then. Drop. So now we got the composite bow. Hell yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it, sleeping bag. Might as well go ahead and check and see if there are any goodies in here. Oh, a med kit. I think we just picked up a bunch more metal. And we got a gas tank now. Of course, I can't pick up any fuel. Let's look for a... garden hose. Sometimes there's one around here. If not, I know there's one up there at uh, Sheriff Sin's house. Let's see something. Crafting. Let's see how many arrows we can make. 46. Good enough for me. So now we got quite a bit. Can I loot that? Nothing. These boxes are kind of weird. Sometimes you can f find something in them. Other times they're just empty nothingness. Okay, let's look in the back of the truck. Hmm. Well, I know there's one typically up there at Sheriff Sin's house. Should we go to Sheriff Sin's house? I think we, I'm overburdened. Dang it, how much am I overburdened? Oh, it's the daggone arrows. I guess I'm going to have to... Where is my scrap metal? Sorry about that, guys. Um, <clears throat> We're going to get stuck here in a minute. Did it stop? Or is it still going? Yeah, it's still going. Can we cancel out of it? No, we're done. Okay, well, we are overweight by freaking almost 10 pounds or over 10 pounds. So maybe we should just go ahead and equip the bow and we'll use the bow unless we get in a tight situation where we need some quick firing. Um, dang, see what I'm saying? You never know where them birds are. A lot of times they're up in here because I used to sneak up this direction and throw the Molotov at the zombies from this angle but you never know where them dang birds are so we probably attracted some attention with those holy crap Oh, man, that was a quick draw. I got to start learning to aim for the chest instead of the face. I feel like there's more behind me. I just, you know, I just get that nervous feeling. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. Oh, total miss. Oh, that was nice. Smile, motherfucker. 
<laughs> yeah, I love that. Smile, motherfucker. We really can't be picking up any uh, extra stuff. Oh my god, that's gonna. I won't. If I pick that up, I will not be able to move. So I guess I'll just be picking up my arrows. I got it. If I wouldn't be. Oh. If I wouldn't be such a loot hog, there wouldn't be no problems. Oh, you trying to sneak up on me, huh? Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. I love your it. Shot. <laughs> yeah, that was your shot. Oh, I love this bow. This bow is awesome compared to the old crappy bow. I just want my arrows. Oh, man. We're still overweight. Look at this. 237 pounds. We're like... See that red bag? If it gets completely... Um, completely full, the bag there at the bottom, you see it's red. It's about half full. That means I won't be able to move. We need a zombie counter. I'd love to know how many zombies I've killed in this game. Be pretty awesome. Hello. Ooh. Gotcha. Three shots for that one. I'm going to lose some of these arrows here and there. Sometimes I just do this. It take all. I'm not even gonna look. I'm not even gonna look. Oh, that was beautiful. I don't know if we can get this dude. Oh man, I love that. Man, we just knocking them all down today. I better shut up or end up dying. Every time I start patting myself on the back, I end up getting my ass handed to me later on. Yeah, it's starting to get dark. I'm hearing one around this corner, I believe. Uh oh, they're all back there. It looks like they're behind the garage. That's where I was going. Hey, gum, there's a whole, whole slew of them. Alright, well, let's start on this end. Looks like there's one in the house there. Smile, motherfucker. Okay, let's walk around this way, see if I can't peek around the corner and see where they're at. I don't know if there's any more in the house or not. I guess we could kind of look. There's one. I think there's one over here. There's a one somewhere. I don't know where he's at, but there's another one somewhere. Ah, he's in the front. He must have been in the house. I missed him. Okay. Well, let's roll on up this way. We're going to stop at Sheriff Sin's uh, garage. I'm not sure we can get up there without killing all these guys. There's there's a blue. Sorry about that. There's usually a bunch right up here. Oh, that was my fault, guys. Oh, gut shot. Oh, my fault. Oh, that was just dumb. That was just jump dumb. I should have fell off the side. Am I bleeding out? At least I'm not bleeding out. That's why I don't like fighting on a hill. Ah. 
actually hit him. Nice. I feel like they're sneaking up behind me. Alright, let's see about picking up some of these arrows. We got more to kill. What is that noise that... I hear them, but I don't... I don't... I don't know what they're doing. It sounds like they're moving their cheeks. Like their jaw cheeks, like they're... I guess maybe they're munching? I don't know what the hell they're munching on, but... That was pretty cool. I don't hear it no more. Wow, is that all that's there? Hmm. Interesting. I think our arrow broke on that one. Alright. I hear another one. I think these guys are coming my way. Why are they coming my way? I wasn't making no noise. They see me. Shit, that's a bunch. Oh, they definitely see me now. Let's see if we can't knock them out with a bow. That's quite a few. Let's keep it going. Kill shot. Oh, I hit him by them. Hmm. I love this bow. I swear the old uh, crappy bow, the first bow you get. I swear to God, it used to go. It used to do this good. Or at least I felt like it did anyway. This one's awesome. See all this loot? I'm passing right up. That's right. I ain't got no room. My, ain't no sense in even looking at it. Kind of curious if I need to eat yet. Of course, I do think these zombies are a bit slower than the uh, the last ones. I wonder if they plan on like combining the two. Because, like I said, I believe the other ones were a little faster. All right, well, we made it over here back to Sheriff Sin's house again. Um, I'm going to go in here. Oh, we can't go in that way. And, uh... Is there one in the house? Oh, there's a med kit. I can't even pick that up. Uh, yeah, there's a garden hose right freaking there. See that? Still way overweight, but we got a garden hose and gas can. And let's look around here. See, alternator. That's I can't pick up any of that. Look at that. So much fuel. Duct tape. I'll take it. I think we're gonna have to drop some stuff. Fuel. Fuel pump. Now I'm overweight. I'm gonna have to drop it. I accidentally picked up a comp compost. So we got a fuel pump now. We got a battery. We got gas. And we got garden hose. Uh, air filter, I think, is the next thing we need for the beast. Alternator. Distributor. Radiator fan. Heavy duty rope. Uh, new starter motor. I think that's it. I think that's just the alternator. Okay. That's fine. We're going to go up here to the free zone now. And uh, finish this quest. Oh man, I totally missed it. 
I'm also, being that I'm overburdened, I can't run as fast. So Tristan, I'm wearing his poor little rear end out. That's okay. Are you still wearing pink freaking fingernail polish, dude? Yes, he is. Here we are. Don't, 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 don't. One of these days, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, and there's gonna be like ten zombies behind me. All right. Well, at least the uh, AIs are here. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's walk over here. I think we need to go see Kenneth, don't we? Here comes the rain. Should we do that first? I was thinking about going over here. Seeing if, what is his name? Liam? Liam? I don't see him anywhere. Uh, maybe they all went home. Boy, it got dark quick. Wow. Freaking 8 o'clock. I might end up having to dump some of this stuff. We're not running very good. I guess I could drop off some of the... Uh, lumber i just picked up the lumber i was thinking about building a little bit that's why i was wanting to go out to lake garnett uh there's the house oh i went down the wrong side i don't know if we can get up here it's kind of cool though maybe ah we can get up this side looks like i see steps looks like somebody's leaving for today Ooh, what's all this Hi, sweetheart. Who are you? Maya Karras? Karras? Who's Ken? Where can I find Ken? Okay, I'll speak to him. Ken's our leader, knows his stuff for sure. We wouldn't be here without him. He's in the main house here. Should be in the office downstairs. Alright, thanks, Maya. Okay, I'll go speak to him. All right, I didn't realize all this. Uh oh, I didn't realize all this was over here. And I'm going through the woods. Why is there a bunch of freaking trees right in front of the steps? All right, at least we. Hey, sweetheart, don't run. Oh, this is scaffolding. It's not steps. Well, no wonder. Well. Can we go around this way? Poor Tristan. I'm wearing his ass out, man. I guess we are going to have to dump some stuff. Alright, Ken. Here we come, buddy. My stamina is pretty bad. Hello. I uh, heard you. Welcome to Blackwater Beacon. I'm not Amy. I'm Tristan. Pleasure to meet you. Now, what okay. brings you out our way? All right, you can go through this if you want. Uh, it tells you about the work in the area, so on and so forth, and supply runs. Uh, and you can get those from the uh, message board that was out front. I'm not sure we're going to... We can go to the message board and go ahead and grab one of those if y'all want, but... I'm not sure we're going to be able to buy anything right now. If I can get a air filter, then we'll go get the beast and uh, then go out to Lake Garnett. If I can't get one here, <coughs> then uh, we'll just go out to Lake Garnett and goof off there. Maybe, maybe go to the abandoned house, see if there's anything there I think uh, Brendan looking to buy a horse got any tips for looking after a horse oh not gonna sure to coat it in this environment looking after a horse ain't easy so as long as you're keeping their their trough stocked and keeping them well fed you're already doing a great job okay who's in charge charge make it sound like I got some got things under control but yeah I managed a stable name is Brendan all right dude well I don't have the money to buy a horse so no I don't need you 
Let's run back over here and see if Liam is over here yet. I got a feeling they go home at night or they disappear at night. Oh, there he is. I need a vehicle recovered. I'm looking to trade. Yeah, I got some stuff I can show you. Thanks. Aha, right there. That's what we want. $92.40 and uh oh I do have 337 bucks so I can purchase this and this is the air filter right or is this the air filter oil filter air filter Ugh, I don't know which one we need guess we'll do both we got enough cash and don't I need spark plug I don't remember what else we need. I already have a battery. I wonder if we can go out here and... I'm overburdened. Ah, oh, well, shit. Okay, well, let's take our... Scrap metal and hit shift and right click, I think. Nope. Left click. That's split in half, right? And we're just going to drop this. That should help. I'm still overburdened, but I should be able to walk. There we go. Let's let's look in one of these. Uh, I like to look in one of these. Should speak to the owner. Ah, oh, crud. Oh well. All right. Good enough. I don't know why I got my dukes up. I hate to get rid of all that scrap metal. All right, we got George Berriman. That's a bounty hunt, $670. We got a scavenge for $230. Another scavenge. Oh, we ain't got too much choice here. We either got uh, kill George Berryman. Get $670. And where is this at? Uh, the Nato science scientist George Berryman following Intel providing his involvement in inhumane human experimentation seen recently at Cross Bridges. Where's Cross Bridges? Ah, uh, we'll accept it. Okay. So, which direction we need to go? Has been sighted near West Hannington Tunnel. Oh. That is this way let's look at the map aha uh -huh. well gonna be kind of hard to do in the dark well, at least we have a quest I guess I could have waited but I still think I'm gonna go out here to hand it or Lake Garnett let's get our whip a tree back out. I don't know why my bow was put away, but we're going to go ahead and scoot through here in the dark. And why am I going this way? <coughs> Let's look at these. Burkett Dam, Willow Pass, and Deer Farm, Low End Foundry, the Valley Conservation. Hmm. Alright, well we want to go back towards this way and we're gonna go out the back door towards Lake Garnett and when we get out to Lake Garnett I think I'm going to drop hopefully drop let's check our vitals real quick oh I'm thirsty that would that's not good You need this that actually give us some good well-being 10% and hydration 25% so that's good stuff there and sometimes eating a lot of these uh, raspberries or the blueberries whatever uh, those are good too especially for hydration I know it only says 5% but I mean that's 10% 15% Twenty percent. You get the picture. Especially if you're having issues finding uh, drinks. 
Um, let's see what time it is. It's two o'clock in the morning. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here. Oh no! My pumps are deteriorated, which means my stamina is gonna drain really quick. See that? It's just dropping. Crud muffin. I don't have an extra pair of shoes either. I hear them damn bees. <laughs> so we got the air filter and the oil filter. We should be able to get the beast. Alright, come on. What's the slag for? Alright, since since that's, that's not going to stop. I wonder if we can repair them. Probably not, but let's let's see. See how this is here? Just take and put them over here. Otherwise, it'll keep bugging the crap out of you. And don't pay attention to my pink toenails. I wonder if we can repair it. Drop, recycle, or equip. Well, I'll recycle it since I can't freaking repair it. And I don't have another pair of shoes. I got rid of them. Get rid of the weight. <laughs> oh, looky here, some charcoal we can drop. Some ash. See this kind of stuff? All these resources. I kind of drop them when I don't need them. There's a lot around. And I figured if I go out here and build me a little stand, I can put a foundation down and then maybe a storage bin get rid of about half this stuff that will really help us out a lot uh, I think actually I'm gonna pause the video to get out there because I got a feeling I'm gonna have to stop quite a few times so I'll see you when we get there all right guys we're back I'm out here at Lake Garnett um, we're going to search a couple of these first before we go anywhere, see if we find anything. Um, on the way here, besides my shoes giving out on me, which you guys saw, should I take these batteries? Uh, my jacket also went, so I scrapped it. So I'm, I'm hoping to find some shoes out here. I don't. I don't maybe we should go to that house that abandoned house uh, I'll take the coke but before we do yeah we could go up to this house up here or this abandoned house over there I'm not sure we're gonna find any shoes in these things but I'll tell you what I am gonna do real quick is build a storage box Let's see, hit that B menu, go to what what was it? Manufacturing. It's been so long since I did this. No, it's not manufacturing. I think it's basic survival. There we go. Can we build a big one? Forty nails, which we have, forty planks and scrap metal, yes. So Q and E to rotate. Let's put that there. And let's go ahead and get rid of some of this crud. Uh, alcohol is kind of heavy. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. So are the, is the whippet tree. I'm actually using the MK18, correct? Get rid of all these nails. PTA Laris. Can't remember if I swapped those out or not. Get rid of this. I'm going to keep that on us. That should have helped out and weight tremendously there. Get rid of the M16 or MK16. That too. It's kind of doing this sporadically. I've got like 10 more minutes and Whiplash has got to go. And it's one to at least find another pair of shoes before we take off. Oh yeah, all this timber. go see we're down to 166 pounds this is great 
See, if we get any gas, that's going to add 40 pounds. So if I just get a little bit of gas, that's going to put me up to 200 pounds again already. I think we ought to go over there and get that if we got time. I want to see if I can find a pair of shoes. See how much faster I'm running? Of course, my stamina is still going to drain rather quickly because um, I don't have any shoes on. So let's run over to this house real quick. Wait a minute. I wanted to go to the abandoned house first. Yeah, it's right over here. Then we'll go to the house that the beast used to reside at. Yeah. I think I've found lots of clothing and shoes over here before. So let's get our whippetry out. Alright. I think I'm going to use a gun this time. Let's see what we got. I know it. You're a pansy because you ain't got no shoes on. I don't know if I got him or not. I know if something, something's in the way, you usually don't get a very good shot on him. Hell yeah. Getting them good. I think there's still one more over here in the, in the bushes. I don't trust them, so let's go over here. No, I got him. One clean shot. Hell yeah. Have we ever found shoes on zombies? I don't know. We're fixing to find out. Can we go in through here? Hmm. There's a tree. Why is there a tree growing? Okay. Well. Here we go. Let's uh... One of these days, this cock picking horse is going to come to life and bite me on the rear end. I just know it. Buckets. See? Look at all this. Clothing. Aha! White sneakers. That's what we need. See? I told you! And I think I'm going to also go ahead and pick that up, too. Come on. Uh... Since I can't repair, I think it's a great idea that we can repair now, but I have yet to make a, a sewing kit. And with the sewing kit, you need a file, and I've never found a file. So, I'm not even sure it's in the game yet. Maybe something that's in the future, but I mean, I think it's great. That, that was one of my suggestions to be able to repair your uh, clothing. But I usually keep one of these on me, and I'm glad I did, because when I, was, when I was off camera and running out here to Lake Garnett, my jacket went out on me, and I stopped dead in my tracks. I had to put another one on or start dropping stuff, because I was overweight. What was I looking for? The sneakers. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Where are the sneakers? Oh, yeah, it should be automatically equipped, because I didn't have any on. Yes, forgot about that. All right, so why don't we just go ahead and go over to the other survivor camp. We'll go upstairs and see if we find anything here. And, uh... We don't need that one. What we have on is better. And see about getting the uh, big backpack. And then I guess we'll have to make the next episode about going and getting the beast and doing the quest. See, look at all this whip -a tree M16... I'm just going to pick up AKM. I'll pick it up. God, there's so much ammo here. Uh, what was that last one I picked up? I definitely want to keep that. Fire rate, 38.8. 80% damage. Whoa, what kind of bullets does it take? 5.56? Isn't that what the... Hang on. 
unattached. Thank you. So the MK18 is what I've been using. And it takes 5.56 and it only does 70% uh, damage. And this one does 80% damage. So maybe we should try this. Ooh, I don't know if I can aim with that. We could try it. It does more damage. So it might actually... Man, I'm hauling booty now. Might actually do more. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm running short on time. I hate this. Trying to do two videos in one night, I, I'm always so rushed. It's one reason why I quit doing it. <coughs> Plus, it gave me a little extra time to do something else Fucked. for myself. Need a break. Oh, hush it, Tristan. You little pansy. Now, if I go, I need to find a shortcut across here. I just need to take the. Every time I go that way, I go the wrong way. Well, we're going to have to sit here a minute anyway. I guess we can drop this. We're going to go over here and we're going to get this big backpack uh, before it's over with. You can eat one of these uh, chocolate bars that will re uh, replenish your stamina rather quickly. But uh, you also, I mean, the more you eat, I mean, I've ate quite a bit over the past, I don't know how long. And, uh, I gained my stamina back real quick, but I'm also eating a lot of food unnecessarily. Let's get a whip a tree back out. I want to test this. I know there's some zombies over here, and stay on the damn road because there's a freaking landmine field over here. Here comes the birdies. See that? Yeah, the crossbones. Stay away from them. Yeah, just don't go that way. Just walk around this way. Next thing you know, they'll put them in the road. Last time I died. I know it's kind of cumbersome coming a long way around this, but uh, it's better than blowing up in the landmine. Okay, jitter jatters. Jitter jatters. I don't know if there's any through here or not. Leg day paying off. Leg day, down. Leg day paying off. This is a survivor camp. Leg day paying off. Yeah, you know it. Oh, crap. I forgot. They don't put any zombies here anymore. Well, shit. Oh, well. Shit. Stitch. Yeah, you'll be all right. We're just coming here for the... Uh, This right here. <laughs> Chocolate bar. Now we can start picking up all we want because we're going to equip this and it's going to go up to like 650 pounds. <laughs> yeah, we got that survivor backpack now. Don't have to worry too much about weight now. I mean, of course, you're going to have to worry a little bit. Especially when you get as slap happy as I do. Uh, well, guys, I guess that's it. Um, I hate to go. I feel like I'm going too quickly, but I, I, I've, I've got to go. I'm, like, short on, I got, like, five minutes. I'm short on time, and I got stuff to do, so. Uh, it was fun. Uh, like I said, next episode, we'll go get the beast. I hope. We should be able to get some gas now since we have the big backpack. And then after we pick up the beast by the lighthouse, we'll go out here and do our quest. Or maybe we'll go build too. Maybe, maybe I'll try to get all that done. We'll see. But uh, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button for me, guys. And if you all want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Everyone have a beautiful day. And God bless. <laughs>